King Sika Framped looks horrible, there's no other word for it. The primordial serpents, his species, are essentially infinitely long and leathery necks with serpent eyes and protruding teeth, which they gnash and gnash and gnash as though forever chewing on something or longing to consume. Ostensibly, Kath and Framped are enemies, servants of opposite ideologies. Kath seeking an age of dark and Framped an age of fire, but should you inaugurate the age of dark, Framped will serve you just as happily as his brother and a dozen other serpents. They are identical in appearance, and both of them seek to guide and influence the player to undertake certain actions actions, even if they have insinuated themselves with opposite factions. And call this a crackpot fan theory, but there is a serpentine monster with many identical heads in Dark Souls already, the Hydra. What if Kath and Framped aren't quite as separate as they seem? What if their long and leathery necks all connect to the same body, and their real objective is not to achieve the Age of Dark or the Age of Fire, but simply to secure a position of power and influence in whatever regime wins out in the end? Playing both sides is the oldest game in politics, after all. Subscribe to this channel for shorts, or watch my full Soulsborne analysis series on my main channel.